on you guys this is Hyperion Blue GT it's time to get everything will be ready to go on the Nations Cup on the 2019-20 exhibited series on Gran Turismo Sport now looks like we'll be able to get ready to race on Blue Moon Bay Speedway in Field A for 27 laps and we'll be able to use Group 2 cars for, for today so this is gonna get everything will be ready to get very long extended lap challenge is gonna get prepared so this is going to be able to do for a minimum tire rating that this is going to get everything will be ready. So going with the racing medium or hard tires and this is going to get everything will be ready. So right now this is going to get everything will be able to choose a Super GT 500 race car is definitely might be able to have the best choice to be able to use for racing. So this is going to be get everything will be ready to choose the Moto AUTEC GTR 2016 with the UTRS library variant. So this is going to get everything will be ready to go. So hope this is definitely might be able to do for one quick fast lap time. We might be prepared. So before enjoying watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to in to welcome anytime you want to enjoy for support for much wonderful entertainment we might be able to enjoy it so this is going to be able to have to change the duration of the segment folks so looks like this is going to be very longer it can get because this is going to get prepared to be able to have one good race so just going to be able to do for one quick practice until we will might be able to get started so just going to be able to change it up on the time duration is going to might need it for well for the first two, first round is definitely might be able to have over an hour duration with the segment. So looks like gonna be able to make it one good progress. Is gonna get everything has to be ready. So gonna be able to be prepared to take this practice. So good thing taking plenty much will might be needed to be able to be ready for this one fast run moment. It's gonna get everything prepared. So looks like taking 27 laps on Blue Moon Bay speed. Infield course A is going to get everything challenging like competition is going to be on the speedway track on the road course layout So this is going to be pretty good to be able to get ready So just going to be able to do some plenty of quick turns. It's going to get everything will be ready So this is going to be able to take for take, Doing for a center run lap and then going on the fast pace lap. It's going to get everything in this is going to get everything has to step up. It's going to get everything will be well progress, but eventually try not to lose any handling grip is definitely might be important when using the group two car. So this is going to need to be able to keep it up to be able to stay on track is going to get very challenging. We might be prepared for this one. Okay, let's just going to be able to try this again until this is going to might need to be able to take for one faster moment we might be able to race around for only over a minute so this is going to need to take a lot of progress it's going to get everything has to be able to keep up to be able to get ready so this is going to be very challenging to be able to take the quick turn it is going to get in there so hope this is definitely might be work because this is going to be able to take comfortable effect it is going to get everything will might stay on it so it's going to be able to do for only one fast pace GT500 race car at a given time that this is going to need to be able to take the pressure on board so this is going to get pretty excellent that this definitely might need to be able to keep up the effort work so it will might be able to do for only a single clean lap race so it is going to be able to do it much properly that this is going to be able to do for one quick fast running lap is going to get in there so just going to be able to see how this will might be able to do this for the effective run so this is going to get everything plenty more concentrated. It is going to get everything will stay on track. Okay, looks like this is going to be able to have a minute and three seconds on the clock. So it's going to be able to need to do one quick first turn. It is going to get everything has to be very advanced to be able to go in. So it's definitely might need to be able to stay in there. So hope this is definitely might be pretty work and doing quick, quick as much as possible so this is going to be pretty easy in to be able to run Nuber and to be able to take one good easy overtake pass this is going to get in there 
Now, looks like this is gonna get pretty well to be able to take three laps and then this is gonna be able to change up the segment. It's gonna get everything has to do it, folks, but every video could probably need for almost under an hour video, so it definitely might be able to be prepared to get started. So, hope this is definitely might be able to join in session of the race. So, just gonna be able to make sure this is gonna be able to do a lot of practice before we will get started. Alright, looks like that might be it for taking a one quick three lap practice. So, this is gonna get everything will be ready to go. So, here we go. Just gonna have to take for only three minutes. We might be able to prepare for a match. So, I'll be see you guys later to be able to get ready to get started for a qualifier. So, hope this one might be pretty good to be able to get started. So, this is going to get prepared to be able to go for all-out GT500 race. So, this is going to get everything we'll be prepared to be able to do for taking a good warm-up segment to be able to get started. So, hope this is definitely might be pretty good to be able to go drive quick and fast. So, this is going to get everything will be very extendable that this is going to be able to take for only 20 laps around the track is going to get everything has to be able to go in. So hopefully this is going to be able to have a one tough fast endurance race It's going to get everything will be ready to go because it's going to be able to change up differently by the duration it is going to might need to be able to do a lot of work it is going to get everything will be prepared. So, looks like just going to be able to have to wait to get ready to go. So, this is going to be a very good fast paced GT500 race. It's going to be able to get prepared. So, this is going to be able to have a required tires for recommend. So, just going to be able to go on racing hard tires. This is going to be able to have a one input check. It's going to get everything will be prepared. Alright, let's go and get ready for a warm up. And then, this is going to get everything will be started. Good thing that taking a lot of required tires for this strategy that this is going to get everything will be ready. So just going to be able to take that warm up will begin until we will might be able to get ready to be able to take for a fast pace group 2 race is going to get everything in. Now looks like just going to be able to have to take for a hard tires is that we might be able to go in. Taking the duration of the grip is going to get very extendable is going to get in there. So. Well, this is definitely might be able to keep a good warm-up check that this is going to be able to do prep work. So do clean inside turns while using the group 2 car. It is going to be a challenging one. It is going to get everything has to be ready. Now it's going to be able to do perfectly that this is going to be able to take preparations that this is going to get everything will be ready to be able to run around on the infield course A. So it's definitely might be able to see if this is going to be very capable that this is going to be able to take on for a fictional American track it's going to get everything will be ready so it definitely might be able to drive fast and quick it's going to get everything will be suited for taking a one performance racing it's going to get everything in now it looks like it's going to have to be able to take for one minute time is definitely might be able to have to take one lap around the track it's going to get everything it has to be able to run situated so it's going to be able to get close. So hope this is definitely might be able to do the best run. It's going to get everything will be prepared to be able to get started. So looks like warm up is good to go to be able to complete. So let's go and get ready to take on the qualifying for 10 minutes. Now this is going to get everything will be ready to roll until this is going to be able to have a good recommend strategy. It's going to get everything will be prepared for having this time of the race so let's go and get started and then this is going to be good to be able to get ready so let this be for having a 110 minute time is going to go in until we are good to go okay it's going to be able to wait to pit out and then it will be able to take a little bit more time to be able to have one space at a given moment okay now, this is going to be pretty handling on the grip to be able to stay focused. So, hope this is definitely might be able to give a little bit more time and then this is going to be with two clean turns is going to get very strategized. It's going to get everything will be prepared. Do the best you can because this is going to be a very challenging one. So, it will might be able to have a prevent collisionary problem that this is definitely might be able to have an easy way to be able to receive a penalty. 
so it will be able to have to make sure this is going to be able to have a spare race is definitely might be able to do it well so this is going to be able to take the challenge it's going to get everything has to drive it quick and focus it's going to get everything situated so it's definitely might be able to take plenty of faster work it's going to get in there now looks like this is going to be able to have for, for another round of this race and also taking a long challenging lap is going to get everything will be ready so this is going to be able to have a challenge with the endurance race it is going to get everything will be settled in so it will might be able to do it well if this is going to be able to take one possible winning streak is definitely might be able to have a gold limit is definitely might be able to have to give a driver rating increase is going to get everything significantly so it is going to be a very hard turn strategy so hope every, if anybody could probably be able to master and dominate the track by using the group 2 car is definitely might be pretty excellent is going to be able to do a lot of speed work is going to be able to take the handling we might be able to take a little bit more pressure on to be very patient so faster and slow cars are definitely made for determined match made is going to get everything will be going so it's going to be a very hard challenge it's going to get everything will be stay settled in so it definitely might be able to get closer that this is going to be able to take one faster qualifying time for the limit. Now this is going to get everything really situated and then this is going to get very challenging that this is going to get everything a little bit behind it is going to get everything they struggle to be able to get in there. Now it looks like each lap could also to take a little bit more qualifying time that this is going to get everything will be prepared so it's going to be able to get closer that this is going to be able to have a best capability turns it's going to get everything going in now looks like starting out on 10th place it's going to get everything will be moved faster that this is going to get everything has to step up because this is going to be very challenging that this is going to be able to do faster work or given the qualifying time is going to get everything to be skilled and matched now this is going to be pretty excellent that this is going to be able to give for one racing example because part speedway track layout and also the road course layout by giving the half so it definitely might be able to give for a little bit of time but the longer length that this is going to be able to take the faster straight is going to be taking the good advantage it's going to get everything has to go in now the first turn is definitely might be pretty tricky so just gonna be able to break lightly and then try to stay maintained on the grip so it will might be able to do a safer way it's gonna be able to avoid bumping each other that will might be able to make sure to be able to stay careful now looks like this is gonna get very challenging to tough enough to be able to stay on it so it definitely might be able to get close but well, luckily, breaking late is going to be a very hard problem that this is going to get everything has to be going on. So, just going to be able to make sure that this is going to be able to have a one cup clean race that this is going to need to be able to keep it up. So, well, good thing that this is definitely might be able to have already uploaded for the first two, two videos at the first round. So, this is going to get everything will be prepared to get settled in to be able to get started out for this race so it's going to be able to call in onto the pits and now this is going to be able to use the racing medium tires so no need to be able to refuel this is going to get everything will be prepared to get started out for first five minutes on the racing hard tires first five minutes on the racing medium tires it's going to get everything will be checked and prepared to get everything started so this is going to be able to take a long length run, it's going to get everything to be able to get started. Now, looks like taking the one new step of the Nations Cup event is going to be able to take plenty of long laps, it's going to get everything to be started out. It is going to be very challenging that we will might be able to stay, stay together and then this is going to might need to be able to do a plenty of a lot of work it's going to get everything will be able to get the show on the road now it's going to be able to take for only a few moments of the running pressure it is going to get everything will be simple and clean now it's going to be able to take plenty of more strategy it is that we might need to be able to go in 
now looks like just gonna be able to restart for the fast lap and now this is gonna get in there until we will might be able to see how this one might be able to go capable to see it okay that was definitely might be close call to see that one dropper coming out of the pits okay this is gonna be able to take one fast racing extravaganza going on to be able to keep it up and then it looks like onto the 13th place by the start so this is going to be my key to be able to keep up the pressure this is going to get everything doing a lot of slow work it's going to be able to deal with the turns but it's going to get very sharp quick it's going to get in there so it will might be able to do a lot of chances it's going to be able to keep it well balanced we might stay on the position as much as we can Okay, looks like this is going to be able to see how this is going to be worked out. So faster drivers, this definitely might be able to going on on to the straight. So this is going to be able to take plenty of more progress. It's going to get on there, but it's going to be able to see. This is going to be able to take plenty of practice for the warm up of the qualifying time is going to get in. So it will might be able to take a little bit of patient time is going to get in that this is going to be able to do much as possible we might be able to stay on the same track it's going to get in there to be able to do for one faster lap time to be able to achieve okay going in and now making for one faster attempt to turn is going to get in by the wrist so it's going to be able to take a little bit more pressure on to be able to stay on it Okay, looks like it's only down for 2 minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. So this is going to get everything will be ready to get started. So it's going to be able to do for one faster moment of the lap race. It's going to get everything has to be in. So it's going to be able to get close. So this is going to be able to be ready for taking one faster lap time. It's going to get everything needs to do a lot of warm up practice. It's going to get very challenging that this is going to be able to take the handling grip. It's going to get everything stay on. Okay, there we go. This is going to be able to do for one quick inside turn. It's going to be able to avoid getting off the track. Now, this is going to be able to see this one, folks. So, just going to be able to use the half the lights in case of an emergency because this is going to get a pretty exercise caution that this is going to get everything in to stay on track. Now, looks like this is going to be able to take for only the 8 lap is going to be able to go in. So, looks like lap number 9 is going to be the end of the qualifying lap. It's going to get everything will be prepared to be able to get started. So, this is definitely might need to be able to do one more speed up a chance. It's going to be able to kick it up on the throttle because this is going to be able to have a little bit chance that this is going to be able to send the last place players to the shadow realm is going to be able to go on to be able to get back on the run so it's all about taking the competition it is going to be able to take for one racing moment it is going to get everything we might do the best run whenever we can now it looks like it's down for 30 seconds remaining on the time so it is going to be able to be ready to go Hope this is definitely might be able to do for plenty more time that this is going to be able to be ready for this lap time. Okay. Keep following up on the inside turn. It's going to get everything sim simple and clean. Okay. Proceeding in onto the final lap and then let's go in and then this is going to be able to give an extra minute left until this is going to get everything has to be ready to go for taking a nine lap qualifying race it's going to get everything has to be ready for it for the moment this is going to be able to take for our best group two race on blue moon bay and now this is going to be able to get started now let's just going to go and be prepared for this race until we will get started for the nation's cup event it is going to be on the way until this was going to be able to skip for a little time to be able to go in so Let's go and get ready and then this is going to be good to go to be able to get started. Alright, here we go. 
this is going to be able to take the faster lap time on 27 laps so looks like this is going to get everything will be ready for a clean race folks so this is going to get prepared to be able to have a one quick race to be able to take the rush so this is going to be very challenging that this is going to be able to keep up whenever we get so this is going to be able to take a little bit time that this is going to be able to take a little bit more time of the rush is going to get prepared to see it so well whenever choices to be able to use for the tires folks because this is going to get everything will be make it for one medium racing tires is going to get everything will be ready so this is going to be able to take plenty of grip work it's going to be able to do it well looks like Definitely that this is definitely might be having a little bit loosened up on the grip board. So JON's 2012 says well just having a little bit time effort that this is gonna go in, so here we go, let's get started. All right, here we go. Round two of the 2019-20 Exhibited Series on the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sports. So here we go. Let's see what these drivers think they got. So here is Victory SS12 on taking on the pole position by the fourth. Second place is E Anosur R, and here third place is Deeds One Two Three. Very good for the Nissan GTR 2008. Now here is fourth place is Fifth Miata E6. In fifth place is we can strike in D. And now it looks like here in sixth place is T1337 Dorm Nature. And seventh place is Hemi TT07 with the Lexus AU Toms RCF. In eighth place is Mighty Defense 485. And looks like Fat Wing 36 with a nice library design of the Nightwing. And here's 10th place is Orion Jet. For the Red Bull GTR, 11th place is PSRT Broughtry Fan, and 12th place is Kicker MMA, 13th place is Young Guns 7203, good to go for the Nissan GTR, 14th place is Jorn, Jorn Marma 519, 15th place is myself to be good to go for UTRS GT500 Library. 16th place is Jay Owens 2012, so he's good to go and get prepared. 17th place is Dewey 96074. 18th place is OD03 USA1. And last place is Cy Winterkin is ready to go. So this is going to be a very tough, challenging and 27 lap race. So, well, Hope this is definitely might be pretty challenging that this is going to be able to take 10 minutes on the qualifying lap that this is going to be prepared. Well, despite the changes for giving a little bit of qualifying time for the first 5 minutes, so it definitely might be possible to be able to change up the tires that it might be possible to be able to suit it in for. So, here we go. Let's get started for one fast race is going to get in. So this is going to be good to be able to take on the second round of the Nations Cup Exhibited Series is going underway. Now this is going to get very intense to be able to take on the handling so it's going to be very cautious that this is going to be able to be very careful. So it will might take the risk it's going to get in because this is going to be able to do it very wisely that this is going to be a massive collision if we have to avoid it because this is going to get in there so looks like this is going to be able to see it and oh man looks like J. Owens 2012 just got okay looks like he's still going on so looks like that was definitely might be pretty lucky to see it now this is going to be quite very extraordinary collision to see how these other players are definitely might be keep it up on it so this is going to be a very tough race by using GT500 it is going to get very tough enough for this race it is going to be very challenging to be able to survive with the finish 
Now, looks like mistaken drivers is going to be able to be very careful because it will might be able to send directly into the shadow realm. It is going to be on the way to be able to get back on the track. Now, this is going to be able to take on to do it. So, in the matter of the first seven laps, that this is going to be able to keep in track of the numbers, it is going to get everything will be in the progress because it's going to be very tougher on this one. And it looks like. J. Owens 2012 just definitely might be staying on in 13th place. Joe Mama 519 is going to be in. Oh, there's another yellow flag called in, and now this is going to be very caution to be able to see it. This is going to be quite very effort enough to be able to stay on it. So it's going to be a very tough, clean race to be able to survive on the infield course A. This is going to be a tough challenge to see how it goes. Now, looks like E and Orser is now definitely might be in first place on the lead. Now, this is going to be able to see how it goes, and now this is going to be able to do for one quick fast run, is going to be able to do it. Hope he's pretty good at the Blue Moon Cake Bay Speedway course. A is definitely might be going on. Now, looks like might be able to take a little bit of time on in, so currently in ninth place, just going to be able to overtake Kicker. MMA is now definitely on the run to be able to stay on track to be able to keep it up on the pace. Now this is going to be able to take plenty of grip work so it will might be able to save a little bit more turn handling that this is going to be very challenging to be able to stay struggle on this. Now it's going to be very closer to see how fast can these GT500 drivers are definitely might be able to have the good skills but might keep up the limits it's going to be able to take a little bit more time is going to be able to get in there now it looks like this is going to be able to take a little bit pressure time for it so well guess i'm a-okay to be able to take take this track that this is going to be able to take the pressure is going to get in there so it's going to be, might be getting close that this is going to need to be able to speed up more now it looks like T1337 Dominator is now definitely might be able to go on to stay on second place. Looks like he's about to be able to go in and looks like Hemi TT07 is in third place and this is going to be quite very challenging to see how it goes for this one. This is going to be able to have to take for any fast turns of this chances of this race is going to get everything going on. But it's going to be a one sticky situation that this is going to be able to do with some various turns. So, looks like you're not in Japan anymore because this is going to be on Blue Moon Bay in of Course A for having GT500 is going to get everything has to be prepared for the moment. And oh, looks like Kicker MMA just got spun out and okay, looks like he just definitely might be getting a little bit attempted failed turns and now it looks like nothing else affected on the penalty to be able to occur. So, that was definitely might be good news to see it. Now, looks like this is going to get everything to be moved on and then going to catch up on the PSRT B Chevy fan and now this is going to be able to take for one faster moment because this is going to be able to have to proceed on the overtake for the UTRS racing team it is going to be united to race for the chances it's going to get in there. Now, it's going to be very closer that this is going to need to be able to stay on it. Now, looks like gonna going in and then this is going to be able to take the well pressure on the throttle is going to be able to do for one improved right direction is going to get everything will stay on the tarmac. We might be able to prevent avoiding a spin out is going to be very challenging to be able to avoid by the risk. Now, looks like Mighty Events 485 is in sixth place and now PSRT B Chevy fan is now going to be able to catch up because this is going to be able to take this blind corner is going to be challenging to get in there. So it's going to be able to see how this will might go because this is going to be able to take the long term running event is going to get very extended is going to be able to keep up the pressure is going to be very challenging will might do the best so this is going to be able to take a little bit more time that this is going to be able to keep a little bit more time so don't get stressed out. This is going to be able to take a lot of effort of this fast lap race is going to get everything going. Alright, P PSRT is in 6th place and now looks like he is about to be able to move on to proceed. 
So this is going to be able to take a little bit excellent work. It's going to get everything has to stay on it. Now it definitely might be pretty good for all the grip. It's going to be able to take a lot of effort work. It's going to get in. So it's going to be very tougher to be able to make fast performance on the effort skills. It's going to get in there. Now it looks like it's going to be able to go on and catch up on to Mighty Events 485. It's going to be able to get in. But it's going to be able to get closer that this is going to be able to avoid hitting the wall after the last turn. This is going to be able to take the easy going straight. It's going to be able to raise up the acceleration. We might be able to do the best whenever we can. Okay, going to raise up the speed and then this is going to get everything going. Okay, going to have to be able to make one brake check. It's going to be able to proceed. Now, this is going to be able to take on the inside turn is going to be able to do one quick way for another and now this is going to be able to get a little bit chance but it was so close but it's all about taking one stability position is going to be in it and oh funny event almost gets spun out and now he saves himself now this is going to be quite very good to see this one for it because this is going to be a one struggle balance risk is going to get everything has to be able to keep raising up on it now it's going to be able to take for one step approach and now going to go in and make one good overtake straight onto Mighty Event. It's going to get everything past to take it nice and slow. It's going to be able to take a little bit throttle to be able to push up. Okay, getting there and it looks like only on to the 15 second gap ahead is going to be able to go on. So it looks like 20 more laps remaining and then this is going to be able to down to 19. This has to be able to do it both because this is going to be a one fast race It's going to be able to take like having an endurance race is going to get everything in. Now it's going to be able to get very closer that this is definitely not having a speedway event. This is going to be on the infield course so just going to be able to do everything you got. Now looks like just going to keep up more pressure and now just going to be able to take that hairpin corner is going to get in and then looks like this is going to be very good to be able to keep everything going now it's going to be able to take plenty more turns it's going to get in there okay getting on and now looks like hemi tt07 is still going on in third place to catch up on t37 1357 dominator is now going to be on the run to be able to catch up now looks like this is going to be going well and going faster and now this is going to be able to take plenty of fuel left remaining and this is going to be able to take a little left run it's going to get everything in. Now it looks like it's going to be able to stay on in 8th place it's going to be able to take a little bit of territorial chances to be able to go on. Looks like this is going to be able to take plenty more faster work it's going to get everything duration on the grip it's going to be able to make it closer to be expected. It's going to be very powerful and very stronger, but it's going to be able to take fertile grip. It's going to might need to be able to stay on it. It gets a little bit slow on the suspension system. It definitely might be able to get balance on the performance by recommend. So this is definitely might need to be able to keep going, but it's going to be able to take it in and it looks like almost there to get nearly closer to approaching in onto Mighty Defense. Hope I could do it. Okay, so close, but he can still might be able to take a little bit block position. It's going to get in there, but this is going to be able to take the risk. It's going to be, oh man, looks like this is definitely might be almost getting a little bit disturbance on it. So it definitely might be getting closer. So it looks like I took seventh place on the position currently to go in. And looks like Money Defense 485 is now going to be able to get back onto seventh place. But, oh, looks like this is definitely might be seen it for it. Mighty Event slams back at me and then now he's pushing back on to 7th place. Now this is going to be quite very challenging to see how this will might go. Because this is going to be able to have a challenging driver. It is going to be able to keep up the work. It is going to be able to stay on. But it's going to be very slow moments. It is definitely not, might need to be able to stay on the pressure. It is going to be able to keep well maintained. Now, looks like this is going to be able to have to take for one check on the tires. So, 
the rear slide tires is definitely might be getting a little bit depleted soon. It will might cause the prevent a spin out by taking a little distraction. So it looks like here's Batwing 36 in the pits and now it's gonna be able to change up the tires. So this is gonna be able to, to be able to get back on the run. So looks like coming out of the pits and now looks like gonna be able to make one quick pathway to be able to get on to seventh place. Mighty Event is in sixth place and now we are getting closer onto the top position. It is gonna be there soon as much as possible. But this is gonna be a very best race that this is gonna be able to do the plenty of skills. Will might be able to do the work. Will might be able to get there. Looks like Batwing is now going to be able to get back in onto the current position to be able to overtake. So it looks like he's about to be able to catch up onto Mighty Event 485. So this is definitely might be able to see how it goes. But looks like this is going to be, oh boy, looks like getting a little bit loosened up on the grip. This is going to might need to be able to have the call to be able to go in because this is going to be very effortless. This is going to be able to have this for this race. Okay, looks like Orion Jet is now definitely might be able to take only a few more gap distance. So, looks like 4.6 behind is going to be able to get on for. Now, it's going to be able to do well that this is going to be... Okay, looks like Dewey is in the pits and now this is going to be able to see it. This is going to be giving a little bit of time to be able to have new set of a medium compound tires. It's going to be able to have the call wheel might go in. Now, it's going to be able to take plenty more lap times on the track is going to be able to get on so it's going to be able to take plenty more pressure work on the grip because it's going to be able to have the slow performance skills that this one might need to stay alive to be able to keep up on this race because it's going to be able to do plenty of work it's going to be able to get on okay looks like it's going to be able to take a little bit few more fuel left remaining so just going to be able to save some time until this is going to get everything has to stay on track because this is going to be able to do for a proper risk is going to be able to take a little bit more time. So it looks like fuel percentage is going to be at 50%. Now it looks like Mighty Event is in the pits. Now he's going to be able to go on and choose a different tires. He's going to be able to go in to be able to do for a little different selection check for it. So, he can still use in the racing hard tires that this is going to be able to go for a little recommend requirement. Now, looks like going on into 7th place to be proceed as always. And now, this is going to be quite very good to see it. And it looks like Hemi TT07 is in 2nd place. Now, he's about to going in and, oh, he finally did it. He's in the lead and E and Orser is now definitely might be going on. So, looks like he's on 2nd place. And, Looks like he's back on first place again. Now this is definitely might be see this one folks that this is gonna be quite very excellent to see how fast can these two can go. This is gonna be able to have this fierce rivalry for this round of this race because it's gonna be very excited to see this is gonna go well. Okay, PSRT Chevy fan is now definitely might be in the pits, so this is gonna might need to be able to have plenty more fuel time left until this is gonna get everything will be well extended to be able to add it up on it. Changes up the, on the tires, so it looks like it's about to coming out of the pits. Looks like Mighty Event is coming back in. Now this is gonna be able to take a little bit more effortness, is gonna be able to keep up on the work. So he's about to be able to press forward. We might be able to have a seventh place finish. And oh man, looks like he's just lost it. He, Mighty Event 487. 85 just lost it. Now this is definitely might be seen in this one folks because this is going to be very challenging to get because this is going to be able to take well caution that this is going to be able to stay balanced on the track is going to be very challenges that this is going to need to be able to step up. Okay looks like two of them are now going to be in so T1337 Dominator and Enforcer is now in the pits. Now if this is going to be able to see, this is going to be able to change up the different tires, it's going to be need to change up as well. So looks like it's just going to be able to, have to go into the pits and now this is going to be able to have the time we might be able to go in. Alright, looks like Wingin' Stinkin' D is in the lead and now this is definitely might be pretty good to be able to keep up the winning spot is definitely might be able to have his podium. 
Now it looks like finally coming out of the pits, and now this is going to be able to have a pit time for only 11 seconds. It is definitely might be able to go in. So looks like it's still catching up, and then this is going to might need to do a lot of work. It's going to be able to stay in there. So good thing it's back on the track for a new set of racing medium tires. It is going to be able to go in. So we're currently on the lap 15. It's going to be able to get there. So. Hope this is definitely might be able to do for one good perfect racing skills will might be able to do perfectly for the job. So it's definitely might be able to get closer that this is gonna get everything will stay on track. Now looks like just gonna be able to take one good step that this is gonna be able to stay on it because seven place finish is gonna be on the way because UTRS racing team is gonna be able to race United. And looks like Dewey 96074 is coming in, so this is going to be able to see the moment to be able to come by in. Now, looks like we're going to be able to have 11 laps remaining left. Now, it's going to be very closer that this is going to be able to take plenty of grip work, that this is going to be able to work faster as much as possible. Now, looks like it's going to go in, and then this is going to be able to take plenty of good grip turns is going to be able to stay on track to be able to go mostly wisely to be able to get on. Okay, winning Stig and D is now definitely, definitely might be able to go on. So looks like going in the pits and now it looks like TE 30, 1337 Dominator is now going in and then looks like within striking D is definitely might be going back in on the first place. After taking one good quick pit stop, it's going to be going in and looks like Yellow Black just called in to see it, so this is definitely might be able to give a good green light check to proceed. Within Striking D is in the lead, so Enforcer and Hemi TT07 is about to be able to get back on track to be able to stay on it, so it definitely might be able to get closer to see it, so looks like Young Guns is now going to be able to keep going. And then, looks like I got him on scene, and now Blue Flag just calling in until this is going to be able to give way to faster cars to proceed. Now, this is going to be able to take plenty of turns, and oh boy, looks like he almost had it. And now he's definitely might be able to take quick recovery to be able to go in. Now, it's going to be able to get very wisely closer it gets that this is going to be able to take plenty of strategy work is going to be able to go in. Hope he's doing all right. This is definitely might be doing well to get in there. So, looks like only down for 10 laps remaining, folks, because we are getting there closer. So, it definitely might be able to get on for because this is going to be very good to see how it goes because this is going to be seeing this one. So, PSRT B Chevy Ben is now in third place to be able to catch up. Now he's on the top three. We'll call it's going to get everything. We'll be able to keep going. Now it's going to be very closer to see how different skill rated drivers is definitely might be able to be on their way. It looks like Batwing 36 is now in 5th place and then Inorcer is now definitely on in 4th place. That could be the only guess that he's about to be able to step up to be able to keep up with the reaching spotlight is going to get everything in to be able to get going. Now, it looks like this is going to be able to do plenty of challenges, that this is going to be able to do a lot of skill work, so it definitely might be able to going in. Okay, now, it looks like this is going to get pretty challenging skills that I just did pretty well for taking a few more laps around the track. It's going to be able to take plenty of good inside turns by the apex. It's going to get in. And it looks like an orser is now definitely going back in sideways to be able to challenging up with Batwing here so this is definitely might be able to see how these two can challenge out each other because this is going to be very tough determined check check to be able to get in so looks like this is going to be quite brilliant to be able to do proper ways to be able to stay on track to be able to get on for so it's definitely might be able to do one fast quick pace that this is going to be able to stay on it Okay, very good safe call. Now this is going to be able to take a little bit few more gap distance left to go. Within striking D is now definitely might be able to have to be on the way forward to be able to proceed on to the 20th lap. So it looks like only seven more laps to go because this is going to be able to take 
one effort skills is going to be able to see how it goes because this is going to be able to take a faster work that this is going to be able to give a good quality progress it's going to be able to get on for. Now it looks like this is going to be able to have a one pit stop check to see how it goes so looks like this is going to be able to take a little bit more passing proceed so it definitely might be able to be on the way to get on so okay. OD is now coming back, coming out in the pits, and now it looks like he definitely might be doing well to be able to keep going faster up on it. Now it looks like he's going to be able to take one good turn pace, and now this is going to be able to step up. It's doing the best inside turns, but might be able to go quick in the proof. Now it's going to be very good to see how it goes for the number of laps remaining, so only seven more to go. This is going to be why very excellent is going to be able to stay extended on the run because this is going to be able to do it quick and closer to get because inside turns is definitely might be able to do the best skills for GT500 is going to be on the way is going to be able to do it all right now this is definitely might be pretty good to see how other drivers are definitely might be doing okay well Definitely might be taking a little bit of fence spin outs. It's going to be the hardest thing that we need to be able to avoid it because it's going to be a skill to challenge. It's going to be going in. So it looks like 16 drivers standing there for a remaining lap. And now this is going to get everything has to be able to keep going because this is going to be able to do for one excellent faster work. It's going to get on for it. So this is definitely might be able to take a one good skill to match players. This definitely might be able to keep going. But we still try to do the best we can because this is going to be a very long lap. The race is going to be able to get in there. Okay. Now it looks like this is going to be going well. Now this is definitely might be pretty good to be able to take a lot of good effort to see it. So Side Wonder Ken is now going to be able to try to keep up to be able to stay on it. So hope you can do it because. This is going to be able to have the best time that this is going to be able to take the pressure work to be able to go on. Now, looks like it's going to be able to race up the speed that this is going to need to do a lot of more drafts to be able to go on. So it looks like lap 22 to be able to go in there. So it definitely might be need to give a little bit of time remaining left that this is going to be able to reach up until the final lap. Okay, looks like six places in Forcer R. So it looks like he definitely might be able to keep up. And then it looks like this is going to be able to take a little bit more pace work. He's going to get in there. So it looks like Hemi TT07 is definitely might be doing okay to be able to take a good performance progress run to be able to stay on it. So it definitely might be pretty good to be able to take a few more corners onto the Blue Moon Bay Force A layout. It's going to be able to do for a little tricky time to be able to go there. Okay, looks like. Two of them are now definitely might be calling in to change up the tires, so this is definitely might be their last call. It's going to be on the way. So it looks like Batwing 36 is going to need a new set of tires. It's going to be on the way. So this is going to be able to do a quick and run until this is going to get everything has to do for one quick pit stop. It's going to be needed as possible. Getting there onto e enforces our position for only 9.3 seconds on the gap. It's going to be able to get on but it's going to be able to get close because this is going to be able to take a little patient time we might be able to stay there now looks like this is going to be able to take plenty more throttle turns it's going to go in and then this is going to get everything close to call encounters that this is going to be able to take plenty more distance to be able to stay on it now looks like this is going to be pretty good and then it did pretty well All right, that should probably be able to do it. Now, this is going to be able to down for only nine seconds on, on the gap. It's going to be able to keep going up ahead. So this is definitely might be able to have a little bit tough determined choices to be made here, folks. So number of positions change stuff differently, but it's still the same. So it will might be able to catch up whenever it comes that this is going to get everything going. So looks like onto the lap 24 is going to be on everything we can because this is going to be able to take a lot of faster skill work. It's going to get everything going. 
Now, this is going to be able to take plenty more progress skills on the grip. It's going to be able to stay on it. Luckily, that this is going to be quite very skilled effort that this is going to might need to be able to take a full hand skill grip that this is going to need to do a lot of work. Okay. Looks like the Dominator is now in the pits by taking first place on the run. So it looks like within striking D is coming back in onto first place. Now this is definitely might be very good close encounters to be able to take a little bit more time and then this is going to be able to get back on the run. So quick tire change and now this is definitely might be needed to be in case. So it's going to be able to do for plenty more faster work it's going to get in there. Now looks like this is going to be able to take for a little bit more time on the struggle it is going to be able to stay back on the run because it's going to be able to take a long ropes. It's going to be able to catch up because this is going to be able to take plenty of grip work. It's going to be able to take the progress we might be able to go in. Now that was definitely might be pretty excellent and pretty brilliant. Is definitely might be doing a lot of skills we might be able to go in there. Okay. Almost had it. Now this is going to be able to take a little bit of concentration for it. So looks like only two more laps remaining to go folks because this is going to be it to be able to take for only a few more runs until this is going to be able to take a little bit of time for now looks like within striking d is now definitely in second place psrt b chevy spin is in third so this is going to be able to see how this is going to be quite going well to see it so looks like they're already on the 26 lap so Looks like this is definitely might be able to make it for only one more lap remaining. But this is going to be a very closer one for this race folks because this has to be able to do it because this is going to be able to take plenty of practice work is going to be able to do it before now. So it's going to be able to take on to be able to proceed to step up. So it's going to be able to make it for only the 27 lap that means that they're almost there to be able to reach up onto the final lap now this is going to be quite very excellent to see it and it looks like mighty event 485 is about to take the comeback to be able to get back onto seventh place he can probably be able to take it so it's going to be able to get close so looks like taking a few more laps until he's about to be able to catch up this is going to be able to take the best part of the scene of this race is going to be on the way now, looks like, here we go. Looks like we're on the way over to the final lap of the race, folks, because this is it. This is going to be able to do perfectly that this is going to be able to have a no place to turn back to be able to refuel. So this is going to be able to use it wisely. This is going to be a one tough racing challenge it is going to be on the way. Now, this is going to be able to do it one quick at a time. It is going to be able to do properly that this is going to be able to do the skills is going to be able to be on it because this is going to be a one showdown race that this is going to be able to take the gap distance and it looks like an orser is now definitely might be able to have a okay looks like an orser is still doing okay so it looks like 13th place driver is definitely might be having a spin out moment so looks like deeds one two three is doing okay now looks like PSRT Chevy fan is finally takes first place on the podium. Looks like he did very well. The Dominator is in second place and within striking D has finally come in third place. Now this is definitely might be pretty excellent to see this. It's going to be a very good fast race to going on folks. Looks like this is going to be a good one to be able to have a faster time on this race. It is going to be quite very excellent. Now, looks like they did a good job, but this is going to be a very good, excellent race that this is going to be doing a lot of good skills we might be able to do for the best motivation skills. So, well, despite for the efforts of the penalty, it is definitely might be going on the way, but, well, due to the fact of the racing troubling situation going on, so looks like it might be immediately end up on 10th place, but... Well, nothing else on the red dots by having a penalty received for it, so... Well, looks like that might be... went well, so... Looks like that might be pretty good to have a best rank on the current season, so... Well, this is going to be a very challenging one, folks, but... We did good, so we will might be able to do...
better if we had to be able to drive well to be able to have a one good clean race we might need to do a chance so looks like this is going to be doing well for having a one good skilled race so eventually that all of us have been automatically to the different positions so looks like just end up on 10th place so dot might be able to have end up on to 7th place so looks like taking a lot of good skills that this is definitely might need to do a lot of work so good thing it might be able to congratulations to PSRT B Chevy fan so that was a great race folks because we did excellent we did very good for this race because we did a lot of good skill at work we might do the best we can so good thing that we did very well to be able to do a lot of good run skills that this is definitely might be able to keep up so good thing that was a pretty good excellent race but it is definitely might be pretty challenging to be intense to see it but unfortunately penalties will be up occurred by having a matter of fact so well it's gonna be very obvious that we might be able to have a one good lucky chance to see it okay so te 1337 dominator says are the penalties hidden now so well i thought we did pretty well so we did good on the different positions so well ghost penalty is definitely might be able to occur but well that was definitely might be pretty surprising to see us see this moment because it's going to be able to do it well but we did okay for having a good race but mostly that it will end up on different positions so well nothing else to be blamed but it always happens all the time because we will having a good race on the blue moon bay course layout it is definitely might be very good so well unfortunately that this is going to be quite very good but well we didn't strike in D says still a great race so that might be pretty good to be able to do the best run we can so this is definitely might be pretty excellent for having a nice great race for this moment folks so luckily whenever it reaches up onto the final lap but it might be also to be occurred to be able to change up onto the different positions so definitely penalties would be occurred but well we did good for having a good clean race without any mistakes but it's definitely might be able to do the best we can because it's definitely might be pretty fun but still that was a very good race but we will might do the best we can for the next round so we will might be able to do a lot better if we have to keep up to have a good driver rating we might be able to increase onto the top position it's definitely might be having one common goal we might do the best we can all right folks glad that you really enjoyed this race thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to leave a like comment and bell for notification uploads and the links on the description down below if you want to see more i'll be see you guys next time for continuing on on the 2019 2020 exhibited series on, on the nation's cup on grand turismo sport and i'll see you guys later keep on racing stay cool